Oh, hello, hello, hello. Look at that. Hey, how are you doing? Can I check and see if I have any sound right now? Because this just might be the last hangout air that I do. August 1st. That's like tomorrow, right? I'm not sure. But I'm going to find out. And then I'm going to tell you. Now, I'm sitting here ready to show you some more new crazy ancient proof. You have to have an open mind. You can't be like CFAPs out there. We're going to check right now and see who's listening and if even I've, uh, my microphone's working. My videos. Live. Goodbye, Atlantis. Goodbye. I got a little ad. Hold on. That's YouTube's ads, right? You got to live with that. Goodbye, Atlantis. Goodbye. There you go. Okay, see what else I got in here. Do I have any porn? Nan Madol. I just went there to their video. Now, here's another ancient civilization in the middle of Indonesia. Now, I would say that the stonework is not megalithic. That's what I'm all about. I want that megalithic stonework. Give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, I can teach. I'm a teacher. Here's me on the MRT hanging out with some friends. And then that's it. The broadcast is over. Hangout Air will now no longer be available as of August 1st. If you want to stream, do webcam. Yeah, but the problem is, is webcam doesn't allow you to share your desktop. So what am I supposed to do, YouTube? Pre-produce all my videos, I guess. Now, let's talk about my books. I don't spend a lot of time talking about my books. But what I do want to say is that if you're in the mood to, I don't know, super chat me, you know, with, with an amount of money that makes me kind of go like, wow, somebody loves me. I'm going to give you both these books. These paperback books are in my closet right now. I'll send them anywhere around the world for a, a super chat of, of relevance. Now, here's a deal. I want more than just a super chat of relevance. I want any super chat at all. If you give me a super chat and don't give me any money, but just I'm super chatted. I don't care if it's $1, you, you're going to win because you're going to get a copy of the book on the left, my first book. And that's going to be available to you directly. I don't care where you live. I'm going to send you one of these copies if you super chat me. If you super chat me with an amount that's better, then I'll give you both books. That's not what I'm all about, though. Okay, I'm just going through here. I want to show you some new stuff. Look at this. This is crazy. This is what my videos are all about recently. These ancient lines in the desert. How old do you think that is? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. How old is that? I mean, look at how, look at this. How old do you think that is? GoPro. I got a GoPro wannabe. I wish I had a GoPro. I wish I had a little GoPro then. And if I had a GoPro, then I'd be on YouTube all day now. Okay, I had a few Go, a few GoPro videos. First of all, Sicilian, Sicilian, Caesarillion, Caesarillion. How do you get on all my videos and you're best friends with Brian Forrester? I'm not even friends with Brian Forrester. And, oh, by the way, if you can't hear me, it's due to the rain, rain, go away. Outside Taipei every day, there's rain. Rain, rain. Yeah, how old are these lines? Okay, let's get back to business. I'll stop mumbling. Look at that. Now, I'm as close as I can get. But what you see here is artifactual lines in the sand. And this looks like a groove of some sort. Was it an ancient canal? Hard to believe when you have a thousand feet of sand being torn across the desert for the last 10,000 years. Hard to believe that that's 
not so old. I mean, hard to believe that that is so old because honestly, I don't believe it. It's hard to believe. This is in Morocco. Well, I'm sorry. This is in the Western Sahara. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'll show you. You can see that line going right there and here. It's going all the way across, but it starts over here. And yes, this is probably mining. Monsoon where? Where are you? Where's the monsoon? Where are you located, Caesarillion? Yeah, definitely anything that was wet had to be 5,000 years ago and maybe more, right? Maybe five to 10,000 years ago because we know... Oh, Bangkok. Okay. Well, you're in my part of town. Kinda. Everybody thinks I'm in Thailand, but I'm not. I'm in Taiwan. Okay. Well, I know where the bridge over River Kwai is, and I've been there. Even though the bridge that I saw wasn't the same bridge that was blown up in the movie with Alec Guinness. We've had thunderstorms. I was going to live stream that. I don't speak Thai, but I, I dig it. Okay, so here we have the Western Sahara State. By the way, it's under like all sorts of scrutiny. Like this whole Western Sahara, it's all bullshit because the real line is right down the middle of it. But that doesn't matter because apparently there's a bunch of mines in there. All I can say is this. I was, this is uh, Satellites Pro. Satellites Pro was giving me trouble. We have Canary Islands here. We have Cape Verde Islands down there. I'm not going to talk about what I've been looking up recently, which is this, 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 all this stuff. Oh, tectonic plates and the different activities that tectonic plates are undertaking. I'd like to talk about this one. This one right here, now we're going to get some random website that's not useful. I should have right-clicked on the picture. Let's open and open image and new tab. Let's try that. What? No way. There we go. Save it. And then enlarge it because this is not high-res stuff, is it? Okay, by the way, this is, did I mention this is going to be my last live stream? I'm done with YouTube. I'm done with YouTube. Okay, now this I kind of disagree with in a way. The tectonic line is literally the mid-Atlantic trench. Is that true? Well, what it means is, to me, is that that's not even moving. Like, it's probably a little bit moving here, but when you get down here and it's wrapping around, these two pieces are not moving. I mean, they're moving in their own way, but they're not moving. Like, I've shown you this. That line and this line are not the same. I don't believe this. This, bullshit. This line here is right here. Okay, and all I can say is that this line here, it looks exactly the same as this line here. And that is the Mid-Atlantic Trench. I shouldn't even be talking about this right now. I'm going to talk about it later. But if you think that Africa drifted across this tectonic plate and is in the middle right now, I don't believe it. I think this line, if that's true, this line's fine. This line's the same. But everything out here is not. I'll talk about that again. Maybe I've got no scientific proof. I'm curious. I'm interested. Nan Madal, found in Indonesia. The inferior stone construction that doesn't turn me on. However, it was pretty interesting that I mentioned that's me when I was 220 pounds. Did I mention Hangouts on air is going away August 1st? Probably. But let's get back to the real... Okay, did I mention that I'm done teaching? Let's close that. Let's open this back up. Let's get in here. Yeah, the Mid-Atlantic Trench is right there. It looks exactly the same as this. You've got a dent right there where you've got a dent right there. Those two points are hard bedrock. This is drift. This is continental drift across the Atlantic Ocean from the Mid-Atlantic Trench I've talked about this enough. Let's get back into the Western Sahara. Now, I don't agree with these lines. No paycheck. I haven't had a paycheck. You wouldn't believe how badly I need a paycheck right now. Yeah, 
don't get me started with Google uh, with YouTube and their stupid uh, money system. I'm literally making a dollar a day and that's done. I'm done, done, done. Okay, I'm done with this. I'm giving you this because it's my love. Here is the eye of the Sahara. Say goodbye forever. We've got several rivers, but what we also can see in this ancient desert is ancient canals. Look at this thing. What is that? What is the what is this? This is like some kind of a weird dark land. But outside of it, you've got this ancient canal that goes around it. It's like a literal line in the sand going around it. What is it? How old is it? Well, it's not covered with the drift that you see. Okay, now you do see some sand drift here. You see the movement here. But what you really do is you see it start here. That's where the sand's moving through. This little circle was protected, just like this little circle was protected. Okay? Sorry, I moved over too far. Let me go back in. That circle is protected. This circle is protected. But we can see the sand moving across. And right over here, you've got these little striations right over here. Those striations right there are over a thousand feet high. Okay? 1,000 feet high. So when we zoom in and we see these ancient lines underneath, we know that those lines. Look at that. Look at that line right there. I zoomed right in. You've got a thousand feet high sand. That's a thousand feet high. And then you've got this ancient line underneath. This is an ancient lake bed that was underneath a thousand foot high striation of sand. And that line right there going through goes all the way across. You can see it right there. This line is ancient. This line is over a thousand years old. I'd say it's maybe 10 years, 10,000 years old. And you can zoom in and you can see these are little walls. Those walls, you have rivers going across it, breaching those walls. You can still see part of the wall. It breached it because this is ancient stuff. And you're going to have water breaching it. But those lines, and look at the way it's jagged right there. That's continental drift. I mean, okay, I shouldn't say continental drift. Look at this. this look at this. What is that? This is up in actually Mali. And you can see a breach. Maybe sand is going over. But these are higher than down here. That is the lowest area. Those are ancient lakes and flood basins. But these walls, those were water control. But that's not what I'm here to show you right now. You're not going to believe what I'm showing you next. Let's zoom out. I've already shown you this in my previous video. This is Mali, land where slavery is still legal. I don't like slavery. You can see the sand striations coming down from the ancient Lake Maghreb right there. This is Maghreb. The ancient Lake Maghreb was right here. Water flowed. And you can see sand striations coming across here. Water flowed. You can see it going through here. Water flowed. Is that a, what is that? Is that a lake? That's interesting. I need to, what is that? Is that a lake bed or a lake? It looks like a lake bed now. I'll check that again later because what I'm here to show you is right over here in Western Sahara. Let's just go in here and we're going to see a line. Is that man-made? You see striations of sand and movement this way. You see movement this way. But what the hell is that? Is it a mountain? Why is there a line going across a mountain that causes a total distraction in, in, in uh, the flow of, of sand? What is this line here? I think it's a power line. It's an ancient. No, I'm sorry. I'd say not ancient. It's 50 years old, maybe 60, maybe more, maybe 100. It's a power line road that goes from here, the ocean, all the way into this mining area. So we're going to go to the mining area right here. We're going to follow it in. Let's go back out one more time so you can see what's going on. And you know, if you know me, the Canary Islands mean that this is the area where those ancient tumuli were covered with flooding debris and torn away. You've got a, this, this weird south to north, almost northeast, but not quite, 
But this diagonal line there, you've got a diagonal line here. You've got striations moving this way to the ocean. But boom, it gets cut off. Not sure what happened here. But you've got this line that cuts across it and creates white alkaloid buildup from flooding. Okay, we're almost done here. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to show you some crazy stuff. So what you've got at the end of this part is this, this, this mining area. They're, they're doing mining activity. In my opinion, there's no other option. It's mining. But I'm looking for a line right here, up here. It's going, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to try to find it. I think that's it right there. It comes straight down from the mining area. And check this out right there, right in the middle. Let's get that. What is this? Okay, so we've got a straight line in the sand, and it's probably been there for at least 100 years. Oh, I'm sure Canaries has a lot of... I'm sure the Canary Islands were part of the Atlantis complex. I think the Canary Islands were part of the, the island complex that were given away to the children of Atlas that didn't receive Atlas, the, the continent. Okay, so in my opinion, the continent of Atlas was the Taman Reset River Basin that goes up to the hill, Taman Reset. By the way, let me know if I'm talking too loud. Yeah, I bet, the, I bet they're resorts. At least they're not destroying them. What is going on here? So we can follow this line back up to the mine that I showed you a moment ago. I'm going to go up to the mine. Now, you've got this ancient wall. And by the way, we see shining on the north side. And to me, that could mean trench as much as wall. Because where does the sun come from? It doesn't come from the north. It comes from the southern area. So when we look at this, we say, where is the sun coming from? This is satellites.pro. Here's the mine. Here's the line. This line goes through this road into the mine, right? And then goes through the mine out the other side. So don't think for a second that that, okay, this is too mined out. This is mine goes forever. But here, look, there it is probably right there. If that's not it, that's it. But I think this is it. This line is older than the mine. So how old is the mine? How old is the mine? And by the way, we see mines when we have a buildup of water or ancient river flows bringing precious resource trace minerals to a valleyway or a riverway. And I just showed you how the line comes through. We can follow that line around. It goes all the way around here. And it comes back around and then goes back up. And it meets this part right here. But this is not what I want to show you. I want to show you this. I showed you this. This is interesting, right? Because it's like a little try. One, two, three. What was it that Poseidon carries? Just remember, it's all 12,000 years old. Now, is this 12,000 years old? I question it. I don't think that anything we can see is 12,000 years old. I think this is less than cataclysmic event. But look what you have. You have a little tiny try. I should take that symbol and put it into Google symbols and see what happens. Here, let me try it. Here, this is just a random document. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to put in um, a insert... Special characters. Okay, so we got these special characters here. I wish I could zoom in on that. Can I zoom in? Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Can that zoom? Oh, you know what? Maybe, yeah, that helps. Let me zoom in. I'm going to try to find any character that looks similar to this. And I'm going to try to put it in here. That's what was a one, two, and then three. Let's see if that comes up with anything. Nothing? Nothing. Let me just scroll down these and see if I can find anything that looks familiar. Three little points. It's like a tri... What is it? What does Poseidon carry? A trident. There's a trident there. Let me try it this way. Let me see if that pulls anything up. What's that? A W? Let me get it, let me get it a little more, um, you know, kind of distinguished. What's that? The Ethiopic syllable, let's just find it. Let's search this shit. 
No, I, I, because I do everything. I, I want to get it. I want to get it. This is my, look at this one. I like that. I wanted to show that off. Tridents are powerful symbols, and we're looking at a map. Thank you, Caesarillion. I'm going to call you Caesarillion from now on, by the way. Caesarillion, is that not a trident? One, two, three. It's got a little foundation. It follows this line, and then you've got a trident. Okay? I'm not going to search that anymore because I want to show you this. We're going to, we're going to get out a little bit. You're going to freak out. You're going to freak out when you see this. You're going to freak out because I've, now if you follow it down, it goes around the mine. So this, what I believe is that this circle around the mine line is some type of an ancient, like either a catch all for water, water like was gathering here. If it wasn't gathering here, why do you have a mine? Why is there a mine gathering? You got mountains over here, and then you've got other mountains over here. So this is probably a riverbed right there. It's probably some kind of a weird mine. But I don't want to show you that. I want to get back in here, and I want to follow that line. Where is it at? Let's get that trident. We'll call it trident line, okay? We'll call it trident canal because I don't think it's a wall. I don't think it's a wall. I think it's a canal. I'll show you more later. The trident is right there. This is the mine. It's at the top of this big white field. So this whole white field is something. That's a mountain. So it's like right here along the edge of a mountain. You go right in there, and you get this little weird peninsula of whiteness. Is this snow? Are we looking at snow right now? I've got the topography map right here. Let's go in and take a look. You can see it right here. You can see the mountain. You can see the line. It's right here. So this is like really, really low. I don't even know. 325 feet. The white stuff is super high. It's 725 feet. It, it's not, don't say it has snow on top of it. But when we look at the satellites, Pro, you see white. Is that snow or is that alkaloid? I don't know. But we're going to follow that line. And that line comes right out here. So we're going to zoom in on it. There it is. And you can see it hooks right here and goes around the mine and then goes back up. But we're going to follow this line right here. Now watch this. You're going to freak out when you see these weird things along this line. And by the way, I should thank Nathan from the Netherlands or Holland. He's the one that showed me this first. I do want to also thank Michelle, although I haven't heard from her in a while. Look at this. Are those? Okay, look. Now, when we look in there, we see those perpendicular striations. Are those bulldozers? Is this modern day? I see some striations over here. Let's follow it. This is, this is more ancient than that. That's like a road over there. This is where all the cars are driving. The cars are over here, and they're following this when they drive that way. They're four-wheel four drives. It looks like you've got some... some some work done here by tractors, so I'm not 100%. But wait till you see this. Santorini covered with gold. Well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find any gold today. By the way, this is the first time that I'm using the Satellites Pro. Look at this. Let's zoom in here. We're following this line, and now you can see it turns into a real canal. That's a canal right there. It's got two sides, not just one. Over here, we've got some kind of an ancient lines there but we're not done this goes all the way around and then it comes back over what is this what could that be useful for this is a canal right here is that a canal it's just a trench but this is a canal that's been filled with sand why do we have a canal in the middle of the sahara desert okay in addition to that you've got this one characteristic i want to now bring up Along these straight lines, you're going to see this activity here and over here and here. There's all sorts of activity. What could those activities be? Was it trading? Was it ancient marketplaces? Were they canals that you can pull off and park your boat? How wide is that? Well, now I want to go in and, okay, this is near my house. Okay, this is, yeah, this is Taipei. Um, but what I really want to do is if I could figure out a way to grab this, how do I search it? 
Do I have a link? Let me copy this link. Copy it, or I have this right here, and maybe I can copy that. I think I can copy that into to Bing. Let me try Bing while we're at it. Bing is right here. We'll put that in Bing and look at it because this satellites.pro thing doesn't show everything. So I'm putting it in Bing because I think it can handle this. Is this a map? That's not even Bing. Thought I opened Bing. What happened to Bing? I, I opened Bing. Bing disappeared. Let me try that one more time and then I give up on Bing. Oh, I did I search in the wrong spot? I searched in the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Let's put it in the search bar. Couldn't find it. Okay, so now I'm going to just use Bing. I'm going to change it over to the satellite. Get rid of this since that didn't work. Did I mention this is going to be one of my last live streams? I'm not going to be continuing to do live streams for a dollar a day. I'm going to find a different platform. Okay, so let's zoom in and let's find where we are. So we can have several copies. So now you know this little piece is a mountain. Why is it covered in snow? I think we're getting live feed pictures nowadays. This is Bing. You can see that thing here. So we're going to zoom in on this little peninsula. It's a mine. Uh, see, it's different, right? We're going to zoom in right about here. we got to find that line. Is that the line? That's not the line. Yeah, that's the line. We're going to follow it over here. Is that the line? I feel like there it is. And then we're going to go up and we're going to follow it up here. Let's get in there. Make sure we're on the right line. So there it is right there. Is that it? That's so different from the one I showed you. Is that it? That doesn't look like it. That's another one. Hold on. Let's go back. This is weird, right? So we've got an ancient canal going this way. We're following another canal. You've got this line. Look at that. What's this? What is it? Look, you've got little tiny houses in there. Those are houses. So what the hell is this whole thing? Thirty bucks a month. That's what I'm making. Well, there's got to be rain, and that's why I don't really want to get too picky when I talk about how my tumuli got swept over by floods. I think it probably happened. There's something called a hundred-year flood for a reason. There's something called a thousand-year flood for a reason. But when did these houses get taken out? There were several buildings here. What happened? Yard, 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 yard. Okay. Maybe this is not 10,000 years old. But why would somebody build out in the middle of nowhere and build houses? Here's another one. Check this out. Look at that. So you've got your, can, let's call it a canal line. It's, I don't know what it is. It's a canal line. It's meant to move water. And then you've got this weird ancient grid with all these little tiny, I mean, come on, 25 meters. This whole inch down here on the bottom right is 25 meters. So how big is this? Five meters wide. And then these things are like, there's a house right there. That house right there is almost 25 meters wide total. Is that a house or is that just a trench? What are these, moving rocks? You know those rocks that move across a wet desert? Why are those there? I don't know. Those are bizarre. But this is just one. Whoa, 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 whoa. And there's another one right above it. Look at this. Right above it. What are we looking at? What is that? As Nathan said, it's stupid, right? It's freaking nuts. Okay, let's assume it's for livestock. Let's assume it's fencing. Let's assume that it still exists. Why would you keep livestock out in the middle of nowhere? What is this? What are these things? Now, that looks like some kind of a mining act. I could say mining activity. Maybe mining activity. What's this? What I don't even... What is that a real cross? Is that in the... I don't even know what I'm looking at. Is that, a, is that part of the picture? So let's call it mining activity. But mining activity, so minimal, like just these random holes? Let's say it was raining. And when was the last time it was raining? 5,000 years ago? I was looking at ancient airstrips in the middle of nowhere. Okay, that could be, yeah, that could be um, tractor activity, maybe. It doesn't look like tractor activity anymore. It looks older than that. Because if you look at the tractor activity, look at this one. 
WTF. WTF. Okay, graves. Okay, let's assume if you're going to bury a body, you're not going to do something like this. You're going to do one of those tumuli, right? That's graves. That's like 100 meters across. That's like a football field right there. That's a football field in the middle of nowhere. Let's go back out and see where that's located. By the way, there's another one and another one and another one. Are these people trying to build tract homes in the middle of Western Sahara? Now, there's something called the old um, wall of shame. So is the wall of shame near here? Where's the wall of shame? Is this part of it? I don't think so. Look at those triangles in the middle of nowhere. And you've got what looks like little farms or houses set up with a little tiny, are they trenches? Is it for water? What is that? Let's go back over here. Let's go back to where we left off. We'll go back there later. I think that's where I ended up. I got kind of confused, right? Because uh, the line going down here, I got lost. So let's just follow it again. Because I, I, this is my first time coming through here. So this is satellites.pro. By the way, we can change the maps up. I can go over to Google Maps. Let's go to Apple Maps Satellite View. This is really, in my opinion, one of the best. So let's go to Google Maps just for kicks and shittles. That's about the same, right? Use control scroll, okay? Control scroll. So there we are. We're scrolled in. Look at that. You can see more in Google. You can see these little weird things in the middle of there. Look at that. And 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 then there's another road. Are these is that a canal? Is this a canal? This has one. This has two. In my opinion, when you see two, those are canals. When you see one, I don't know. Maybe it's a little uh, how to say, um, like a little river, like a capillary. Control zoom. Okay, so this, so basically, Google Maps is no. This is Satellite Pro, but it's using the Google interface. Let's just go back to Apple. I like Apple. I like the color. You can see here they have like a uh, one of these things went in all the way down here to where I don't know. Let's take a look. Can I zoom in closer? No. Maybe Google Maps can zoom in closer. Let's give it a try. Not must have been green. It was green. It was green. But here's my question. Was it green after the Younger Dryas event? And could these canals be 12,000 years old? Part of me says yes. Look. You can see the line that got filled in. Where is it going? Where is that line going? It doesn't. Okay, let's try scroll and zoom in a little closer. Can I do it? I can't do it. So here you see, look at that. So you've got a line that goes over here and curves. Let's just be really clear about what we're looking at. So we've been following this. Here we have a two-line canal. It had a little thing that went off this direction. Now, something happened here. Control scroll won't get any closer. So we're going to get back to Apple Maps. Maybe we can do OpenStreetMap and see if there's any lines here. Do you see any lines in OpenStreetMap? There's nothing. Let's try the Esri map. That has something. Do we have anything? Not even the road that was over here a minute ago. Let's go over to Yandex map and see what that shows. Because some of them show some features to the mountain. Okay, we got a grid. We got a grid. We got nothing. What are those? Are those? Those are things on my screen. You can't even see that. Okay, let's go back over to the map box. I think that I moved a little bit. Let's just go back to satellite view. Oh, that's vector. Let's go to satellite view. Why did we change that? Okay, so here we are. That's... Map box, Yandex. Sorry, a little mistake happened. I'm wasting your time. Uh oh, no data for this location. Let's go to the Esri map. So we're back here. Esri's pretty good. But can you see the little line that goes that direction? I can't. 
So let's go to OpenStreetMap. Nothing. Let's just move it on to Apple Map. Okay. Now, are we going to get to see the satellite again? I think I need to switch it back. Somehow it moved over a satellite view. Apple. There we go. Now, look what we're seeing here. You're seeing some type of a weird ancient line that goes straight down. It seems to be perfectly flat. So did that stop here and then it, and then something else happened? Or was that like covered up? Where's that other map? Let's go back to Google Maps. It would seem to be clearer. That seemed to be the best one for this, for this. Okay, there you see it. It goes all the way down. It goes all the way down the, to there. Just use control scroll. Nope. Yeah, a little bit closer. So here we are. We're down here where I see it. It keeps going. And then it gets super skinny and turns into something skinny over here. We got a couple of squares in the middle of the desert. There's no more scrolling in. And then this gets wider. Looks like somebody covered it up, like they were like filling in the canal. And by the way, when I say canal, it's a one-line canal. And then you've got another line going right on top of that line. So what do we see? What does that mean right there when you see one line? Uh-oh. Hey, do me a favor, Caesarillion. Can you hear me? I hit my mic. I want to know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can still hear me. Can you still hear me? Camel jerky and imported coffee. Okay, we're going to follow this, assuming you can hear me. Thank you. Okay, good, because I hit my mic, and sometimes that disconnects the whole thing. So here you see what looks like tractor marks going across this. Is that like a little ridge, or is that a, a dent? Is that a trench? Here we can see both, and to me that means canal. It means you have one plane of flat line. That means canal. I don't care if it's a mountain or not. If it's not a canal, what is it? Let's follow it. Okay, we're done with that thing back there. I'm going to control zoom out a little bit. We can always go back to our Bing map and find some more stuff because I, I think we're on different lines, right? Okay, let's talk about this. What are we looking at? We're looking at a river. A flood event, not a big one, but something that was at least a kilometer wide or maybe half a kilometer wide that went over our ancient line. And by the way, it didn't just happen here. It happened here as well. And you can see it. We're going to get back to the apple. It's a lot of evidence, isn't it? And it's hard to believe that some, some dude spent a lot of money to do all this stuff in the middle of nowhere. And it had no use. This had no use. There's another line going in a different direction. I'm going to change it over to the Apple map right now. There's a little there's a little thing here. What, look at this. What's that? A little tiny turnaround. A place for a boat to, to move out and come back in. To me, it, I feel like I'm, I'm following a river or an, an, obviously a canal. And by the way, did we find out how high this is? Let's assume we're right here in the green. It's only 351 feet. The highest canal is actually way, way, way much farther above any of this. It's way, way up there. The highest canal is in Germany. It's 1,200 feet. So to, for me to believe that this was a canal is no problem, especially when you get down to these ancient riverbeds right here. This is a river. This is a riverbed. It's not a river. It's a river bed that's dry. And then we get down here to where we were. Now the color changed. We were right about here, right? And it shows about 500 feet, a little bit lighter, maybe almost 400 feet. You've got basically an ancient lake bed where they do mining activity to gather different nutrients and trace minerals. They're making money off that. And then here we are. Okay, I'm changing over to... The, to Apple because Google Maps wants me to hit the control button, but I get a little closer. Not really, though. Look at that. That's actually the best, right? And what's this? Some type of a weird, like, cut it, like, block it off, like, 
we're gonna go around it no you're not weird there was some kind of a river pass through here and then now you've got this let's follow the ancient canal if that's not ancient what is this is cutting through the ancient desert okay there's a house let's go look at the houses what do you got are those tents or are those houses there's a lot of tents in this area those could be tents but there's no river this is just like a a river bed it followed over there now look at that event that is a flood event that flood event covered this so which came first the flood event or this well obviously the flood event came second there's a breach and it totally took the wall away you can can't see it looks like it's i mean can you imagine standing there yeah food stands in the middle of nowhere uh, by the way i've actually considered opening a food stand now look what's happening here along the way you got these little tiny excursions now if you're if you have no water here why would you do something like that you got this in the middle of nowhere what's that catching water part of me thinks that catches water i think that's modern day from the 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 lines if this is modern day what the hell is it catching water is this ancient line here also modern day yeah we're in a riverbed this is water and it's controlling water look there's another line going this way how old are these lines look at this is it a, is it a is it a wall or is it a canal now it kind of looks like a wall right part of me thinks that's a wall because of this thing i see the sunlight it does it, it it's something something was there something was there what was there what was here and by the way if you take a screenshot of that you can get a lot closer any houses in this riverway no i don't see any that just came right through there what's that coming from the mountains right oh look at that what's this well they're in the middle of some kind of a riverway so maybe it's some type of a a mining activity was this Atlantis well I don't think so but oh, look you got another wall up here maybe we can zoom out a little bit and follow these walls so you got this like this container here and then you it keeps going it goes for thousands of miles okay don't think for a second that this is just done overnight it's not like a road okay and you don't see the ancient tractor striations here do you what you see is like where the desert grew on top of these ridges this is ancient this is old how old is it look at that you can see a double come back up it's now it's double again how does this happen is that a hundred years old I think it's older than that. I think it's a thousand years old, maybe even older, maybe even 10,000. Because when was there water in the desert 5,000 years ago? Why would you have this if you didn't have water? If you didn't have water, why would you have this? Why would you have these ancient lines? Were these the ancient rivers that were mapped out in the ancient African maps? Look at that. It keeps going on and on and on. Look at this. What is this complex? Some type of a farmland or was it like a lake bed? They were trying to keep all the, I don't know. I really don't know. Well, hello, Gunsmix Jax. If you watch the beginning of this video, you'll see exactly where this is. Look at these ancient walls or ancient ridges in the middle of the Sahara. I think we're in the Morocco by now. Let's zoom out and see where we are. Okay, okay, let's just see where we are. I'm just going to zoom out. There you go. So we're still in Western Sahara. We're not very far from this part here. We're really not that far. How many miles is this? Let's, let's double check the mileage right there from here to there. How many miles is that? Let's go here to check it. 
Not here. Not here. Let's go to Bing Maps. Now, Bing Maps, okay, I had something else going on. Let's zoom out of here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to share this to my Facebook page, and that way I can go back anytime I want. That's why I'm doing this live stream, because I really don't know what else to say. Okay, let's get rid of this. I went over and I posted that. Look at these triangles in the middle of the desert, these triangles, just whatever. These ancient lines. You know, let's zoom out from here. Now, this is a different line from the one. It shows this one, two, three, four, exactly the same. What are these things? Are those those tridents? What are they? Is it some kind of mining? You know, part of me says, oh, it's mining. They're mining. But what the hell is that? What the hell? That's not a mining activity. That's just some kind of a decoration. Look at this old thing out here in the middle of nowhere. Little squares in the middle of nowhere. Why are they there? Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so here we are at the mountain edge. Okay, so we're way down there. And here we're way down there. But I'm going over here to this road. So where's the measuring? I'm going to measure something right here. Measure. Where's measuring? I thought I had measuring. No measuring? Okay, well, we'll do it another way. We'll do it this way. Okay, so we have our little thing, five kilometers. So this is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 kilometers later, we're over here. We're, we're, we're zooming in on these ancient lines here. We already saw this stuff. Did we see this? Where's the line? Is it over? That's not it. There's more lines. You're right. There's more lines. There's more lines. I don't know. Let's go back to where I was so I don't lose track. Oh, I zoomed back in. It's right there. Let's try. I think I got lost. What are these dots? Oh, I can tell you what those are. I can tell you exactly what those are. Those right there, what you see here, those dots. Wow, I can't believe we're seeing those right now. Yeah, those are easy. Those are for air those are for um maybe about 40 years old, maybe younger. Those dots were placed there because they want to take aerial photography. They want to be able to grid it. Those are aerial photography grids. Let's zoom back in there. By the way, I turned my fan on. I don't know if you can hear the fan. So those grids go out quite a way. So those grids might be able to help us. You know, those grids look like they dropped a big old bag of something. They didn't fucking... Those grids, they drove in a straight line and they dropped a bag right on the ground. How big is that grid? So here we have the ancient lines again. I kind of got lost, so I'm not going to try to go back and find where I was. You don't hear, does that no mean you can't hear my fan? I just turned the fan back on silent because I just needed a breath of fresh air. Oh, wow. So here we are in the Western Sahara. The original reason why I was here was to search for the wall of shame, but I never really ended up finding the wall of shame. The wall of shame was supposed to be some kind of a dividing line between the two sides. I, I believe that. I believe that a, a million years ago we had humans. I think humans are a million years old. And by the way, this is the oldest part. The, the mainstream, well, you know, if you watch the video, mainstream science thinks that humans came out of here and moved up and came out right and through there and that's it and we're done with africa i don't think so no in fact we know now that this whole sahara desert was not a desert five thousand to ten thousand years ago we know that there were floods we know that atlantis probably existed here on the south side of the taman reset river there was a river here this is a river right here that's a river that's an ancient river coming from here, going through. We had ancient lakes. 
We had ancient everything. Even 500 years ago, we had lakes. You can see this word, Tamangaset. Okay, let's talk about that. I zoom in, it gets smaller. Tamangaset is almost the same name as the Tamangaset River. So why does it have a different name? Is it because scientists like to confuse the issue with weird names to make you not pay attention to the source of water? This is where the river basin started. And by the way, if you look at it, this is the Taman Russet Mountain Peak. Okay, let's let's get okay. All right. Let's go take a look at the topographical map. Let's get this in here so we can compare it. We got the south end of Western Sahara there. Let's go out a little farther. You can still see Taman Gasset. Okay, there you go. Right there. Let's put this here. And then let's go over here and let's zoom out. Put that right about here. Okay, so this shows us our countries. There's Mali. Niger. And then we've got Nigeria and we got this. Let's take a look at this peninsula here. It goes straight down from here and you have the middle of Niger. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Okay. So what you have is go straight down. There's Niger. Go back up into Algeria. It's right up in Algeria. And we're going to find out what the top topography is right there. Algeria, right there. Look at that. So one more time. It says right there, Taman Reset. So it's not even misspelled now. It's the same name as my river basin that goes through here. These mountains have water that builds up here. Taman Reset River comes from the Taman Reset Mountains. I'm just figuring this out myself. This is 8,000 feet. Okay? It's a high mountain. Let's go over here and look at Morocco. You've got these mountains. 12,000 feet is white. Those are 12,000 feet. That's high. But look, you've also got this one's white right there. You've got high. So you've got 12,000 feet high here. And you've got 12,000 feet high. Let's, let's go in here a little bit. We'll get ourselves all figured out. So there's, there's a Mali. That's Mauritania peeking through right there. This line going straight down separates Mali from, what's this? What is this? Niger. Okay, so Niger, Mali, Niger, Mali, Niger, Mali, Niger, Mali. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Niger, Mali. So we get right in there. These are the highest mountains in the area. Uh, you don't know where the river's coming down. You see this straight line here? It kind of makes me wonder if that's, a, that's definitely a riverway going straight north. But then where does it end up? Is that a riverway right there? Probably. But then you've got crossing. You've got this riverway here. You've got this riverway here. And then way over here, where are we? Timbuktu. So Maghreb Lake, I always said was right here. There's Algeria. There's the, the, the Taman Reset Mountain Peak. You've got a river going this way. So water, water, water. Look at all those little mini river basins right there. There's river, 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 river. So water was going in this direction from the mountains. And then we've got pure flooding, and we can't see anymore what's going on underneath there. Big Bang. How can anything be older than the Big Bang? You mean, you mean the 13,000-year-old cataclysmic event, or do you mean... An event that happened uh, even longer. Of course, high mountains have water issues. If you follow my Geelong River here in Taipei, it goes straight up to the top of the mountain, and then it follows the river's ridge. It follows the highest points forever. Well, why do you need a Molly map? I mean, Molly has a lot of stuff going on right there. There's Molly. The map is here online, man. 
Timbuktu is right there. Slavery. Minoan culture. 160, what? 162, oh, okay, so 1600 years BC, the Thera eruption. Where's Thera? I'm learning new stuff all the time. Cesarion. I'm kind of curious what you're talking about. Also, I was talking about Brian Forrester. I mentioned I saw you as his friend. I was wrong. I saw somebody else as his friend, somebody who's got an interesting name like yours. Are you also his friend? I'm not his friend. You know, 10 years ago, one day I said, you know what? It's time to start using Google Maps and start looking at the Sahara Desert. I can tell you one thing I've noticed. Let's go in here and look at the Sahara Desert. That's the Sahara Desert, according to Bing. Okay, let's zoom into Google Maps. This is Taipei. Let's get out of Street View. And I got to go to bed soon. So it's it's good night for me very soon. Santori has three names. What are the three names? I know Santori is actually an island that was on near... It was actually east of Italy, if I'm not mistaken. Let me show you where I think it was right now since I'm here. Santorini was east of Italy, right? So here we are looking at the Mediterranean. Santorini was near Cyprus. Wasn't Santorini here? Was it in here somewhere? It wasn't over here. So the one thing about Santorini is, is that it's definitely not beyond the Pillars of Hercules, whereas our place is by river over t a thousand years ago. What are the other three names? We have the Santorini eruption, dated by bristle cone piped tree rings, okay, to 1600 years, 1600 BC. Add another 2000, that's 3647 years ago. Okay, so Crete. Where's Crete? Is it? Is Crete over here? I thought it was. Is that Crete right there? Is this Crete? No, oh, there's Crete. That's Crete. Okay, so it was between Greece and Crete. It was somewhere around here. I'm sorry, you know, I, I'm sure there was an eruption and I'm sure there was a cataclysmic event. But as far as major water, look at those ancient lines you can see. See, this is my question. Why do we have ancient lines going under the water right here? By the way, was that Santorini right there? Or was Santorini over here? Where was Santorini? Okay, so the other two names is Thera and Callista. All right, well, I, I'm going to do a little research. I have to admit I know about Santorini very little, but I do know Santorini was one of the possible Atlantis locations. I believe Plato said Atlantis was beyond the Pillars of Hercules. I believe Chris Holworthy in his video shows that people could have followed this coastline. And due to ancient maps and Chris Holworthy, there was a bunch of mud right here. Why would people go to mud in the middle of the Atlantic? How could mud build up in the middle of the Atlantic? Mud builds up on a continental shelf because mud has nowhere to go on a continental shelf. This is where the mud was, right here. This is Plato's mud. Plato mentioned other islands, probably these islands. I'm not against looking at these islands. Look at this. Look at that grid in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. How could there be a grid there? I'm not against that. We've got Santorini. We've also got Atlantis. We've also got this area here, Andros, Andros. We've also got next to Cuba right here. There's some pyramids. We've got also over here the Benmini Road. We've got Atlantis existed all over the Atlantic. That's why it was called the Atlantic. Look at this line. You think that's natural? That was created by humans. This line created by humans. Look at this line. 
this line here. Look at that line there, created by humans. These lines were created by humans. What do you mean a big resort? You mean there's actually an island of Santorina still? Is it still there? Are you saying there's something left? Let's zoom in and find it. Where is it? By the way, look at all this mess. Look at that triangle you can see right in there. What is that? What is this? Where is Santorini Island? This is all in Russian, so I'm not going to work out. Just give me yes, no, very quickly. Caesarillion, do you see it here in this? Is Santorini here? Was Santorini over here in this area? Yes or no? Okay, I'm gonna look it up online. I can't I can't wait. I want the location of Santorini Islands. Okay. Here's a map of Santorini, Greece. Greece, okay, Santorini. All right, so where is that Santorini? Let me go back to my map. That's not it. That's not it. That's it. Where is Santorini? I don't oh is that it right there? Oh there it is. That's gotta be it right there. That's gotta be it, right? Santo. Is this Santorini? See, I didn't realize that it still existed until now. That's it right there. Look, let's go back to the Google. That's it. Look at that. That's it. I found it. You can't tell me that's not it. I got the eyeballs. I got the eyeballs. So here we are at Santorini. And what do we see when we back out? I'm going to go there. You know what? I just made a decision. I want to go there. Let's zoom in. Let's see if we can get some street view. There's the airport. Let's get some street views. We're going to get some street views right by the ocean. Let's get it right over here. Wow, look at that. I like it. Is that a cat? And that's the ocean, right? Let's go down by the ocean. What happened? Look at these buildings. Can I afford that? That doesn't look very expensive. I'd like to live there. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I could live there. I just need a Western grocery store so I can buy my Western food. And I need an internet connection so I can get online and check my shit. Look at those houses over there. Let's get back out. I'm not I want to get closer. Let's move let's move this little guy out. What the hell? Okay, I got to get out of here. This is some kind of weird photo. Let's move this guy right in here, right there by the edge. Same place. Okay, look. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to zoom in a little more. Okay, here we are. Now let's try it. Well, it's not quite great. Oh, look, we don't. Okay, so we don't have, we don't have any views. Let's try that right there. Boom, that is awesome, man. I'm ready to eat some seafood. Look at that. This has, looks awesome. Yeah, I like it. Look at the tile work. Mm-hmm. Can I move over closer? Wow, look at that. You got a view now. Some kind of a weird, weird thing happened there. The, the, oh, you know what? The vehicle came right in here. This isn't done by one of those walkers. This is done by one of those vehicles. Santorini. <clears throat> okay, well, this is not ancient. I like it. I could live there. Crete? You say Crete. How can you say Crete is Atlantis when Santorini is right here? I, I, I'm assuming both of you, because there's two people talking here. You've got Nice and you've got Cicerion. And I, I think you're both talking about someplace in the middle of there. Okay, so here's Crete. 
and here's Santorini. You're, and look at this. Uh, there's a freaking triangle underneath the ocean right there. What does that mean? Was that it right there? Maybe that was it. What's this? Was that the ancient Santorini Island that went into the ocean? Christian, uh, do you think anybody lives there? Let's see if we got anything. Nothing. There's nothing here. There's not even a road there. So what are we going to do? Are we going to get closer? There's nothing here. You think that was Santorini? Okay, look, you guys with your with your Santorini, I'm not into it. I'm sorry. Plato said beyond the pillars of Hercules. Plato said this. Look at this. What is this? What? It, why is it there? Look at this. Let's zoom out. Look at this. All right, so anyways, I guess we're not going to get it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Santorini. No, look, don't say that's not Santorini. I found it. According to this, this is current day Isle of Santorini. Now, you're saying that it's sunk under the ocean. That means something around here sunk under the ocean. Maybe right in the middle. Maybe right in the middle sank. Because I heard it sank. The question is, how did it sink? Look at that. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. That's like, that is raw volcanic movement. What is going on here? That's an island? What is that? That's a... Okay, whatever. I don't see any canals. I've never given the Santorini theory much because I always went off what Plato said. But there certainly is a lot of freaking activity going there with the the uh, boats. It's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a lot of activity going here. Nine different countries. You can see it. You can see Milos, Piraeus, Santorini, Santorini, Santorini. Where do they go? Let's find out. Well, you've got one of these ancient under the wa water ro roads, which you can see out there by the concentric circles. What was this? Was that a, like an ancient underground? I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't even say underground. Okay, I'm starting to develop the hiccups. I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. I got to go to bed. It's bedtime. It's bedtime for me. I got to work tomorrow. All right. So I had my water. Hopefully that'll stop the hiccups. I can talk a little longer. One thing I want to mention again is these freaking books. Where are they? Is that him? No, that's not them. Forget that. That's them. These are my books. Did anybody super chat me? Did you get your credit card ready? I'm making $30 a month on YouTube. I'm not making money anymore. I made $500 a few months ago, and then I made another 30 bucks. Uh, actually, I made $100. They paid me. This is my MBA. Why am I not rich? Why am I not rich? I've got an MBA. And this is, what is that? Los Angeles. That's where I'm thinking of going back to because I can't make any money being a lecturer in Taiwan. Oops. Okay, now you just got all the info. Okay, there's me ready to serve you. Do you need me to come to your house? I'll clean your toilet. Buy a book. Super chat. Patreon. It's in the description. If you do it of significance, I'll send you free books. I need my first Patreon. I need my first super chat. No 10%. Absolutely free. I'll even get the... You send me some money and make sure it's the equivalent of what it would cost me to send you these books. And then you're done. You've got yourself some books. These are true stories I wrote about 10 years ago. 2005, 2007. Now it's 2019. 
I'm doing uh, SARS is a disease. It was a pandemic. It's not a sex tourism book. Actually, these are my students. So honestly, this pseudonym is only there because a hundred years ago, I didn't want to share my real name. That's not my real name. Good night. Thank you for coming. And check out these striations right here. Where do you find striations like that? Yeah, I'll give you, um, yeah, no sex with students, although they were over 18. In fact, the, I, I found out Taipei, you can have sex with a 16-year-old and not get in trouble. However, yeah, the cute ones, um, they're younger. I mean, you, you, 16 years old is the youngest you can go legally. I don't even want 16. That's just wrong to me. Uh, students, look, I had a couple students that that they, they tested me. But I certainly didn't break the rules with anybody under 18. Years ago, I dated a student. She was like 26, 27. Okay. I, I don't really care about uh, hangout is on air live. Not for long. I don't really care about, okay, look, live, live. I don't really care about sex with young girls. A lot of people might think different, but those people would be slanderers. Okay, that's it. It's all over. The cute ones I like to look at. I like to look at cute. I like to look at good looking. You should have seen what I saw tonight on the streets of Taipei. It was amazing. I was in a 7-Eleven. I was trying to do some business, and suddenly, boom, it was rush hour. And guess what walked past? A crazy, crazy plethora of wicked ass. And let's just be honest. That's what we're talking about, right? You say cute. I say wicked ass. And when I say wicked ass, I mean thigh gap. And when I say thigh gap, I mean not blatantly obese, if I go back to the United States and I go to the nearest 7-Eleven, Denny's restaurant, and I walk in there, do you think I'm going to see thigh gap? Do you think I'm going to see wicked ass? No, I'm going to see big, huge, giant ass. Okay, now that we're done talking about ass, I'm going to show you a picture of what I'm talking about. I shouldn't even be showing this to you. Where is it? I think I have it in my downloads. This is something that came into my uh, my memories. Okay, boom. Just trying to find five and six. Do you believe in the Ouija board? That's wicked ass, okay? That's wicked ass. Have a nice evening. Stop broadcast now. Good night.